Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to work on drawing a frog on a lily pad. Now, before we draw that, I, I just want you to, on the back of your paper, I want you to draw a circle. Um, you could do two circles to practice both ones, but um, we're doing the eyes of the frog, so I want to I want to just kind of show you that what I want is and they have kind of an inner eyelid, so there's going to be a darker spot here. We're going to leave right about there. We're going to leave a white spot. So I want you to kind of practice just leaving that white spot. And it's going to be kind of slightly round. Because that's the way the eyeballs are shaped. So we want to give them a round feeling. So we're leaving that little white spot there so it'll be so those are the eyes and we might go back in and with our purple we'll kind of darken them a little bit more so just practice this on the back side of your paper just so that you know you you can get that leave that little white spot for the frog eyes Now we're going to lay this out. We're going to we're going to lay it out with our light blue pencil, and I'm going to draw it a little bit darker than it needs to be. And that's maybe a little bigger than I wanted, but um, I'm laying it out a little darker so you can see it better. And there's a big lily pad there. Now there's circles, and because when you look at a circle and you kind of tilt it a little bit, it changes its. Um, the angle of it, like my hand here is like, as you look at it, you can see that it, you can see more of a round or flat depending on the angle. So these are in the water and we're looking at them from a, a little bit of an angle. So lily pad, lily pad, big lily pad where the frog's going to be. Now the reason why I want to keep this part a little bit light is because we don't want the frog to kind of disappear. So. There's a bump above the eye of the frog, a bump above the eye of the frog, and on, feels like another little bump, but that's the head of the frog. So we're going to draw two round circles for the eyes, and then we're going to draw we're going to draw the shape where it goes, um, kind of down, but it has a little curl on the edge. So we're going to draw a line like this. And we'll put two little nose nostrils there. Now the face goes out a little bit. We'll draw the back legs of the frog. See how they leg, back legs are pretty big because they bow out and they come down to the foot. And on the foot, it's webbed. See, so we're going to draw little tiny circles for the toes. And between them, we're going to go like that for kind of webbing. Now the front legs are right about here. Oh, and I'm going off the edge of my uh, lily pad. So I started in the wrong spot. So same shape, I'm going to make little circles and bumps between them for the webbing. And then it's going to go straight up. And back here, we're going to put in a lily flower. So that's like a bowl. And then we go down, down, up. So it's almost like a crown above the frog's head. It's almost like a, making him a prince already. And around the lily pads, we're going to have ripples. So we're going to put in a couple little lines. We'll have a, some lines around the lily pad, too. So. And around, so around the flower, around the pads. And these are the areas where it's going to give us kind of a visual where we're going to want to leave white lines to show the ripples, the sunlight on the ripples. And back here it's going to be, we're going to put the colors going in across like this. And we're going to be careful when we get next to the flower because really what makes the flower have the shape is our coloring around it. 
See how we get that nice shape in there? And the, the lily pad is going to um, have a kind of pink down in this area and on the back side over here. So I'm just putting those colors in so we get the feeling for where it is. Now back to the frog, because the frog is green and the lily pad's green, what we have to do is, and his front leg is green too, and his back leg is green. So we could just color over the whole thing with green, leave the tummy a little bit white for now. And you remember the eyes, how I told you we wanted those? So if we go back, if we just go in and leave that white spot now, So we've, we've got the face and so I have it go up like that, kind of like a bump across and then a little one down there. So you, this mouth is a little bit open, but now for showing where it's, the difference is in the green, we're going to put a little bit of purple in there and a little bit of blue kind of blending these colors in kind of next to the frog where he's shadowy and when we get here um, because the lily pad's green see how it disappears if I go over the whole thing with green so right in here we're going to want to Kind of just go around the outer edge of those little toes. And we and on the lily pad itself, there's going to be a, a shadow for the frog. So it's going to be darker right there. See? Right next to And it's going to be darker on this side, too. So once we color over that with the green of the lily pad, it's going to look like a shadow. And we'll do the same thing in the front here with these legs. Well, we'll use a couple different colors. We'll, we'll use some dark green and we might even put a little bit of, of orange in there just to give it a little bit of color. Now the water when we get behind the lily pad, this is where we put in our colors going back and forth. We, we use a little bit of green back there because it's water's kind of green. And we'll use a little bit of a little bit of purple moving forward, just kind of sketch it in right now. now remember those lines I said were would be the white areas for us? Well, we have the lily pads go in a little bit like this because this is where the stem goes underneath down into the water. So they're not perfectly round. So since our water is blue and, and blue and green make a nice blue greeny water color, we doesn't matter if we go outside of our lines a little bit because when we come in with our blue we can that'll help define it like the frog we're drawing um, we're drawing the edges of the of the lily pad here we're drawing the edges of the water to and I'm going right out I'm starting right at the lily pad and then right where I have that line, I'm going to leave a little bit of white to show that I have um, ripples in the water. And next to the lily pads, you have pink up here, so I have to put a little bit of pink in the water. And I have a little bit of yellow on the inside of the lily pad. And maybe I... Maybe I want to put a little orange and so then I would put some orange in the water and it's I'm kind of making them kind of squiggly so that it's kind of shimmery in the water. And right underneath the 
flower, there's going to be a little bit more shadow. Because the sun doesn't get down quite as much. Now the other thing I want to do is to make it more look like water. I want to have a couple areas where I'm coming down across like this where it's darker. So maybe those are kind of darkness that are coming from trees that we can't see. So I, I stop when I get to my white areas here. See how leaving it a little bit darker there? Makes it feel like it's a little bit more water-like. Now on the frog, going back to him, we're going in and we're, we're filling in with our green colors. Trying to do a nice job of blending them, leaving a little bit. The only thing we're worried, going to be real careful about is the white part of the eye. Like I say, because his eyes are maybe darker, we'll go in with a little bit of purple in there too. And maybe we'll do that in the mouth. And maybe right down here in the belly, we'll just kind of just try to get it nice and smooth in there too. So, um, this is kind of the basic sketch of it, and you see these lines we still have to deal with for the white. And I'm going to switch over to more of a finished drawing, and you can see where I've added the shadows in. And I kept putting them darker and darker as the green started getting darker as I put the lily pad in. And here, uh, I had the frog a little bit farther back on the lily pad. So I started the eyes up in the water area. So this is the one you probably want to follow. You see the lines up here are going across like this. I've got some whiter areas. I've added in orange and greens and kind of in the circle pattern around the lily. Like this. So that gave me the feeling that there's ripples back there too. So right there you can see some blue and some green. I didn't have to pay too much attention to these lily pads because this is the one that the story is about. Now when I was drawing this I was remembering the story of um, of the frog who didn't want to be a frog. Um, he kept saying I don't want to be a frog. I don't want to be wet all the time and eat bugs all the time. I want to be a cat. And the dad said no you can't be a cat. And he, and he saw a rabbit and he said, I can jump like a rabbit. I want to be a rabbit. Um, and as the story goes along, he finally figures out there's some things that a frog can do um, that nobody else can do. So he's, he gets to be happy being a frog. So I hope you have a good time doing this picture. As always, I figure you're going to do a better job than I am because you're going to take your time and you're going to have fun. Have fun. Be safe. Go outside whenever you can. I'm Mr. Kane. Till next time. Goodbye.